Hello and welcome back to my channel. What do I have right here? I have about 20 or so new puzzles that I got since my last haul. And I think my last haul was just about two and a half weeks ago. And call it impulsive, but each of these puzzles appealed to me for one reason or another. And hopefully I'll be able to explain that to you in this video. Now, I could wait another week or two because I do have four coming from Zulily, but Zulily doesn't stock them, their, a lot of their products. Once you order, they get them from wherever the source is, and then they ship them out to us. So I've got four that I ordered two or three weeks ago, and I'm just waiting for them to come. So for now, let's jump into this. We're going to start with something that i love and if you watch this channel you've seen a short already and what is that short for let's put it the right side up that short is for this video uh jigsaw puzzle here a 600 piece shaped jigsaw puzzle called lighthouses usa now i love this puzzle uh simply because it has lighthouses and What's interesting about this puzzle, and I didn't say this in my video, but I will talk about this a little bit more when I do my wrap up at the end of the month, is that the puzzle itself, let's wait till that clears up a little bit, has 21 different lighthouses from all over the United States. So when, even though I had set up a queue for September, when this puzzle came in, oh my goodness, I moved everything around and I did it. I didn't do it fast because I'm also working on a Seiko puzzle over there. And then over here, I'm working on a White Mountain puzzle. But this one I did finish last night. And I want to thank my friend Hope because her cousin Tamara did this puzzle. And I said, oh my goodness, I love it. And before I knew it, I had a UPS notification. Tamara sent me this puzzle. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Then I had this in the wrong spot, so I'll just show you this one right now. Then this is called Sunny Side Up. It's a Chow's Waisaki 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle. Now, I love Chow's Waisaki. I really, really do. I have probably 20 or so of his puzzles, whether they are in the Americana style like this, or whether they are his cat, the cats of Waisaki. And so this puzzle and another one that I'll show you at some point came up on a Facebook jigsaw puzzle buy, sell, trade group. I keep my eyes on that group. And every now and again, I will be able to grab a Waisaki. So I'm hoping that it comes up clear enough for you. And it's called Sunny Side Up. And I will list these in the description below. I love Waisaki and I'm thrilled that I got this puzzle. This will be in an October puzzle, no doubt. Now, this puzzle here, I think I got this on the a buy sell trade group as well this is called sunny embankment it's a ravensburger square box puzzle as you can see you'll see a couple other ravensburger in the typical boxes that we usually see them this ravensburger puzzle just appeals to me basically because it's a landscape it's a scenery and i love scenery and I just thought that I would really enjoy working on this puzzle. So I was ecstatic to be able to get order it and to get it. And like I said, I got this one on the buy, sell, trade group. Now, let me show you two puzzles that I got on uh, Amazon. This one is called Rustic Lodge, but they have a sub name and I did not jot that down. But this Rustic Lodge was the first one that I ordered. And I can tell because of the antlers. And this may have shown up in my previous video. I'm not quite sure if I already showed this. If I did, please forgive me. And I also saw this version of Rustic Lodge with the green antlers. And again, these two here, I might have shown in my last haul video. I'm not sure whether or not I did. But if I did, please forgive me. If I didn't, here they are. They're, they're similar yet different, different enough, sorry for the glare, 
different enough that I know I will enjoy working on both of them. And somebody recommended on one of my Facebook on one of the Facebook groups that wouldn't it be fun to do these puzzles concurrently? And guess what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Another, those were Seiko. Another Seiko, see how empty this box is? It's because I'm working on this puzzle. Another Seiko puzzle that I got was Autumn Townhouse. I, I love landscape pictures. Anything with scenery, with a house, with a building, with trees, flowers, and sky, I love. So I am probably about maybe a third of the way through this one, but I'm not working on it right now. I'm working on a white mountain puzzle, but this is a beautiful autumn picture. My first autumn picture so far this year. My next puzzle is a buffalo puzzle. It's by Steve Reed. This is called Curiosity Cat Shop. This I bought at the same time I bought this Waisaki puzzle. Um, again, on the buy sell trade group. And I I have so, so many of Charles Waisaki cats, any Buffalo puzzle cats, and other brands. But I did not have this one by Steve Reed. So I I know I know. Uh, what do they call it? A no-brainer. I had to get it. I love it. Okay, I'm going to show you four more Ibu puzzles. Now, Ibu is a brand that I've fallen in love with. I think I have 47 or 49. Sorry for not being accurate, but don't worry. That number is not it's not it's not really a static number that number is going to change. And I'll tell you what, as soon as I ordered two of these, um which is going to be the bottom two of the four that I'm about to show you, they came out with a new one. So if I buy that new one in a week or two weeks or three weeks, they're going to come out with another new one. So I'm going to wait a while, maybe till Black Friday. As a matter of fact, I have a deal with my friend Hope that I'm not going to buy any more puzzles until Black Friday. So for right now, I've got four puzzles coming in from Hope and I've got four puzzles coming in from Zoo Lily and the buck stops there. I am currently building up my wish list on my iCollect app for jigsaw puzzles that I want. But behind the stack, kind of like up here, if you can see where I'm pointing, those puzzles there are, are part of a group of puzzles that I hope to sell. So if I can decrease my stash, then I'll increase it again after Black Friday. So all that to say that I did get four more Ibu puzzles. This is a 500 piece round jigsaw puzzle called Garden Sanctuary. I think it's beautiful. I love Seiko. No, Ibu. I love Ibu. I love round puzzles, and I'm falling in love with 500 piece puzzles. See how this is a 500 piece puzzle? I am very excited to do this one. I have a list of puzzles that I want to work on in September, so I have to make myself wait before I can start that one. Another beautiful round puzzle by Ibu. Look at this one. This one here is called Birds and Blossoms beautiful round puzzle. The piece size is great. The feel is great. The vivacity is awesome. And yes, there's a lot of glare. Okay. These are very, uh, depending on your lighting, you're going to get glare. And some people will say, oh, you know, I, I like the product, but I don't want to pay full price. Well, fortunately for me, I keep a bunch of evil puzzles in my list on Amazon and anytime they go for $10, $11, I buy them. So I very rarely pay full price for a puzzle. I'll tell you when I did, but this one I got at a good price. And again, it's Birds and Blossoms and I'm going to list these in the description box below. Now, this one here, where do we have? We have another round Ibu puzzle. This one is called Purple Birds and Flowers. I think when uh, October rolls around, depending on how many puzzles I get done during September, I might work in a couple of these round puzzles and this is one of them. I absolutely love it. It's going to be a joy to assemble. Now, like I said, 
I will watch Amazon for the price to lower. But this one here, women reading, it was calling out to me. Now, it came up on Amazon. I didn't buy it. And the next day when I went to buy it, it was sold out. So Amazon did get it back in stock, but when they got it back in stock, they said that it would come the third week of October. So I could have saved three or $4 and waited till the third week of October, because it's obviously gonna be at least that long until I get to it. But I went ahead onto the eBoo site and I just paid full price. Like I said, I generally don't pay the whole $19.99, but this one I had to have. I just had to. Women reading, it fits me to a T. This is a square jigsaw puzzle, as you can see from the box. You see the actual piece size right there. And every ebook puzzle, and I didn't show you on the other ones, but I've talked about it on this channel, has a uh, poem at the back. So usually when I put up a video of a completed puzzle, I try to read the poem. All right, let's show the two Ravensburger in their typical uh, normal box. I was just looking for the name. This is Road Trip USA. This doesn't have any particular appeal for any particular reason other than the fact that A, it was Ravensburger. B, it is a collage type puzzle, which I love. And then C, I was able to get it on the buy sell trade group at a good price. I think I paid like 10 bucks for it plus shipping, but I got other puzzles, so the shipping came out to be pretty good. Now, I used to go on road trips when I was a kid, but I haven't been to probably 95% of these places, but still I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Now I want to show you my unicorn. Every now and again, there's a particular puzzle that I really, really want and I really look for. This is the this puzzle here. This is called Kyoto Tea Garden, if I'm saying it correctly. Uh, Japanese Garden Tea House. And I think it's also called Kyoto Tea Garden, but Japanese Garden Tea House. Now, my story with this is I fell in love with this puzzle. I put it in my Amazon shopping cart and I delayed. After my delay, it went out of stock and it hasn't come back in stock at least the last time I checked. So when I saw this where on the Jigsaw Puzzle Buy Sell Trade Group, I had to have it. I paid maybe $15, including shipping or something like that, and it's used. I probably would have paid more if, if the opportunity to get this puzzle would have happened. Why? Don't ask me why, but it is my unicorn. I don't have any other puzzles right now that I just have to have but this one was one of them. And I kind of wanted to show you another puzzle that is similar to this. So I'm going to pause, shut the video off and get the other puzzle in, and show you something. So let me do that. I'm just using my watch to stop the camera. Okay, I'm back. For some reason, this puzzle gave me the same vibe as the Japanese tea house puzzle. I think I bought this puzzle maybe in June or July. This puzzle here is called, give me a moment please, An Evening in Paris. And when you see one of the other puzzles that I bought, a White Mountain puzzle, you'll see that I like location-based puzzles. So this one is Evening in Paris. So when the opportunity landed on me to buy this Ravensburger Japanese tea house, I, I thought about this one. So these are two puzzles that I'll probably do around the same time. All right, now let's look at a Eurographics puzzle and then we'll look at my White Mountain stash. This is the White Mountain. These are the White Mountain puzzles that I bought. Now, I love lighthouses. I, again, don't have a number in my head, but I do have several jigsaw puzzles with a lighthouse in them as part of Part of the scenery and let me tell you for some reason i don't know what it is i love lighthouses so i had mentioned this on one of the jigsaw puzzle facebook groups and guess who commented my sister gail gail says mom used to love lighthouses 
that's something that I never knew. I knew she loved turtles and she, she collected ceramic turtles, but I did not know that she was also fond of lighthouses. So that just gave me the, the chills and it gives me the chills even to say it. So when I was posting my love of lighthouses on the different Facebook groups, somebody recommended this Euro graphics puzzle to me. I was able to get this on Amazon. Don't quite remember what I paid for it, but it has several lighthouses. I, I don't know how many. I didn't count. The back of the box doesn't say, but it's a vintage art. So a, the actual name of the puzzle is Euro graphics Lighthouses Vintage Posters. That's the full name of the puzzle, which you'll see in the description box below. So this is one of those that's going to be pushed to the top of the pile. And I've got close to 200 jigsaw puzzles in my to-do pile, but there are just some that want to get done now. Okay, the last part of this video are white mountain puzzles. I'm just separating them by 500 and 1,000. I have three 500, three 500 piece puzzles from White Mountain and four 1,000. Now, I want to show you, no, I can't show you them in order, but we'll talk about it. This one here is Old World Street, and it says Rue de Villamonde, so it has to be in French. That's my guess, because Rue means street in French. So I'm assuming it's a French scene, and I had mentioned how I love scenery and I love location based puzzles. So this one here, Old Wall Street, a 500 piece puzzle. I think it should be very easy because of only being 500 pieces, but also because the houses are different colors. Now, let me tell you something about White Mountain. Um, let me see if the, the, this is the piece size right here. So their 500 piece puzzles are the size of a standard 1,000 piece puzzle. Their 1,000 piece puzzles are the size of a standard 1,500 piece puzzle. So this puzzle, when I'm done working on it, will measure, nothing is where I want it to be. This will measure 18 by 24. So a typical 1,000 piece puzzle, I believe is 19 by 26 and seven eighths. So this is like I said, about the size of a 1,000 piece puzzle. So I'm gonna love working on that. Now, this is just something pretty. No special emotion attached to this. Other than the fact, by the way, this one, this one and the other two I'm going to show you, I got at, at a White Mountain sale for Labor Day. This is called um, Sunset Cabin and it's by Dominic Davison. And I love Dominic Davison, whether it's his jigsaw puzzles or his diamond paintings. So this was something that came, you know, at a good price and it's only 500 pieces. And I just, I just think it's beautiful. I may wait to next summer before I work on it, but it's definitely going to get done. Now, I mentioned that I like buildings and houses on puzzles, right? So, oh, well, I'll show you this since it's in my hand. So this is a 1,000 piece puzzle simply called Summer Gold. And I just thought it was adorable. Even though it's the end of summer and I won't work on it until next summer, I just had to have it. Um, the artist is Fred Swan. Not familiar with Fred Swan, but there you have it, trying to avoid the glare. And I'm looking forward to getting it. Now, I did pull out another puzzle to show you a comparison. I got this cozy bookshop. This is a 500 piece puzzle. I meant to show you the 500s in order. Now with this 500 piece puzzle, I got it because there's a cat. And then the fact that the name bookshop is on there, I got it. So it made me think of this one, which is not really in the same style, but it's a bookshop puzzle that I bought maybe a couple of years ago. This is old bookstore and it's by Steve Crisp. And this, is by Steve Reed. Now, remember that cat puzzle, that Curiosity Cat Shop that I got from Buffalo that I showed you earlier in the video? I don't know if I can get to it. I can't get to it. I've got about 20 puzzles on top of it. But it's the same artist. So whether it's Steve Crisp or Steve Reed or 
Charles Wysocki, if I see cats or if I see books in a jigsaw puzzle, it's got my name on it. Now, remember I said I love location-based jigsaw puzzles. There's one that I want, which is in Greece. I can't think of the location. The name just skipped my head. But this Cinque Tier puzzle from Spain. I wanted this puzzle from uh, Ravensburger. Then I saw one from Buffalo. But I was able to get this off of the White Mountain website. And I know it's going to be a challenge, a 1,000 piece oversized jigsaw puzzle. But I just had to have it because I keep looking at the the location, the Cinque Tier location, and on different puzzle brands. So I, I can't wait to work on this. I probably won't do puzzles concurrently. I might just focus on this when the time comes. Now, I got this puzzle because of my friend Hope. Now, this is called Best Pictures. I think that's all it's called, yes. And it's by Lois B. Sutton. It's a 1,000 piece White Mountain puzzle. Now, every Saturday, and now sometimes during the week, Hope will tell me which movies are coming on TCM, Turner Classic Movies. And I started watching movies every Sunday for the past three or four weeks. And as of this week, I have maybe five movies that are coming on today, tomorrow, and on the weekend that I set on my DVR. So when I saw Hope working on this, I'm like, I just have to have it. So I think I found this on Amazon. Again, it's called, I'm sorry, it's called Best Pictures. And when I do this puzzle, I will let you know which puzzles I have, which movies I have seen. For example, The Greatest Show on Earth. This was just on three weeks ago, and I just watched it. Um, let's just pick one more. From Here to Eternity. I haven't seen that one in forever and a day, but it's right here. Uh, is there one more? Ben-Hur. I have not seen Ben-Hur since I was a teenager when I read that book, but I remember it had Charlton Heston in it. So this is best pictures from 1950s to the 1970s. So I cannot wait to work on this puzzle. And I want to thank my friend Hope for assembling it because once she shared it, I just knew that it had my name on it. What do we have here? Another, this is by the way, the last of all the puzzles that I'm sharing on this haul video. And this is called Cafe on the Water. It says it's by Image World, so it's probably just a photo, not a drawing or a painting. And I got it simply because it's a location-based puzzle, but I'm not sure where the location is. Um, I see ca it's Cafe on the Water, so, it might be Italy for all we know. That might be Venice, but I, I would be guessing. Both my cats just jumped up at the same time. So if the camera falls, be warned. Um, and I just love it. Um, you'll notice if you watch me regularly, you'll see a lot of pictures, puzzles that I do that have pictures of houses, homes, buildings, connected buildings. It's just something that I find great pleasure in doing. And so when I saw this cafe on the water on the White Mountain site, I just had to have it. So I think that makes 21 or 22 puzzles, not quite sure. I have to type up the list and give you whatever links I can find. But I just wanted to share these with you and I wanted you to know why I got certain puzzles, how they appealed to me, why they appealed to me and why I want to get them done. But I can't do that right now because over here, like I said, I'm working on a White Mountain puzzle and it's called Camp Camping Trip. And then over on the bed, I'm working on uh, Autumn Town House. I think it's a Dominic Davison Seco puzzle. So I'm, I'm busy puzzling and I will continue to be busy puzzling. One of these days I'll get back to diamond painting, but for right now, I'm just enjoying my jigsaw puzzles. So I wanna thank you for watching and believe me, I will be back with more soon. And there's a kitty right there. I told you they both jumped up. One's on the bed, one's right here. So I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will be back again real soon.